G'day and welcome to Video Drum Cinema. Today I want to talk to you about the ebooks in Kristen Ashley's Colorado Mountain Man series. Okay, there's six books so far Gamble, Sweet Dreams, Lady Luck, Breathe, Jagged, and Kaleidoscope. Okay, so first off, I have to say, Kristen Ashley, stop already with these books. In my head, I've packed and moved to Colorado so many times. I have so many frequent flyer miles, I've been inducted into the Flying Hall of Fame. Wait, no, actually, don't stop writing these books. They're freaking awesome. What the hell would I read and love? This series is about older heroes again, like the Dream Man series, but it's also about second chances. The stories take place in two fictional towns in God's Country, Colorado, Norbone and Carnal. Seriously, these towns' names are effing awesome. But they're also the scenes of fatal accidents, murder conspiracies, corrupt cops who send innocent men to prison. And they're the home of men who are hard. Hard because they've seen too much and been through too much. But like always, when they find the right woman who's soft and they get that love, they get their redemptions. All of the men have pasts. Holden, Max Maxwell of The Gamble is just that, he's a gamble, but one that definitely pays off to go all in for. But for me, this whole series is Tatum Tate Jackson. He is my favorite Kristen Ashley alpha male. His backstory, his struggle to find something good and finally not feel like trash is just beautiful. And the heroine is Lauren Graham and she needs someone strong to give her sweet dreams, as the book is titled, and he is that, and she gives them right back to him. It's Kristen Ashley's best story so far. It even has a serial killer and some of the most gut-wrenching, ugly cry-inducing scenes that Kristen Ashley has ever given us. The second chances continue with Tyrell Ty Walker when he gets out of prison for a crime he did not commit, that he was targeted for by a bigot corrupt cop. Corrupt cops in this town, like, by a bigot corrupt cops. But Lady Luck is finally on his side when he walks out of prison to be picked up by stylish, leggy, and beautifully goofy Lexi Berry. But she needs to be strong enough to actually help him find justice and not revenge. Revenge against the corrupt cops like Chance Keaton, who is in dire need of a second chance. He had so much shit shoveled onto him that a weaker man would have drowned a long time ago, but then he would never get his shot at good. Good that he saw the second he came to Carnal, but before he had a chance to act on it, he was dragged into the mud. But now it's his time, and Faye Goodnight is the woman who will help him shake off the mud and help him breathe again, while he helps her to breath too, literally and not just figuratively. There's a part in this book that goes, I'll let you in on a secret, honey. The knight who has serious chinks in his armor but never falls is the true hero. That means he's won battles and doesn't waste time polishing his armor so he can look good while he rides in parades that are tributes to his glory. He just drags himself back on his steed and keeps right on battling. And if he's the right kind of knight, he never rides alone. The best heroes inspire loyalty. The best heroes keep fighting the good fight tirelessly, quietly. The best heroes always have scars. If they didn't, the heroine would have nothing to do. It's her job to help the hero let all that stuff go in order that her man can be strong enough to fight on but when he's with her, he's free to just breathe. Now this book is not for the faint-hearted. The ending, I mean, it all works out, but shit. By the time we get there, I won't spoil it. Read it. Oh, and just a side note, Allie Nightingale from the Rock Chick series is in this one too, to save Faye after getting to know her on the Firefly Battlestar Galactica nerd fan page. See, that's one of the things I love about Kristen Ashley books. While the stories are kind of similar, where the badass alpha saves the damsel in distress, the backstories and the characters' hobbies and their interests are all thought out and well-developed. Every character is believable and totally imaginable. I would love to live in Kristen Ashley's head and know all of these characters. I want to go to Fortnum's for coffee. I want to sit in the control room of Nightingale Investigations or Mimi's Coffee Shop in Carnal. Kristen Ashley has another series, the Berg series, where the first book 
had a serial killer wreaking havoc on unsuspecting people, one of whom was Graham Ham Reese, who's the hero of Jagged. Ham is great. I loved him. But Zara Sanders is his woman, and she's a fantastic character. Her backstory, it's kind of like Mara's from Lawman, when a family doesn't lift our heroine up to inspire her, but rather has made her feel like nothing for all her life. Ham really steps up. He is awesome. And then comes Jacob Decker and Emmanuel Holmes's book, Kaleidoscope. And they're the newest installment of this series, and they're really cute. I was psyched to find out that Wood from Tate's book, a side character, is getting a book of his own. I can't wait for that. Wood needs a happy ending and his own second chance. So I hope Kristen Ashley gives it to him soon. I give these books a 10 out of 10. The second book, Sweet Dreams, being the best out of the whole series. Thanks for listening. Bye.